if you follow this, you'll make everyone happy. And if you don't, you'll be scrambling with last minute requests, pulling up sessions from your archive to re-export new files in a rush. So I'm gonna break this down into three parts. File formatting, deliverables, and naming conventions. File formatting at a base, all session deliverables should have a master delivered at the native sample rate and bit depth of the original material. And that's purely for archival purposes. It mightn't be the master which is put into distribution, but for publishers and the owners of the master copy, this is an important part of duty of care to deliver a master that archives the highest fidelity unaltered of any bit depth reduction or sample rate conversion. Moving forward, at a minimum, if it isn't already native to the session sample rate, you should also deliver a 48K 24-bit lossless file, as well as a 320 kilobit MP3. And that's MP3 is for press kit purposes. It's simply an industry standard. Most publishers I've worked with hold their archive at 4824, and most PR agencies use MP3s for email purposes and attachments on form submissions. Now let's look at the deliverables. At minimum, always be prepared to deliver, whether you're the mixer or the mastering engineer, full mix, instrumental only, TV mix, and an acapella. And this is what I commonly receive for mastering, and I often request this of my clients too, to send them up front before the session. Now, when it comes to STEM mastering, here's a STEM mastering session I did. I was actually able to produce the TV mix and the instrumental mixes myself by simply just muting the lead vocal and the background vocal for the instrumental and muting the lead vocal for the TV mix. Pretty simple. And what that looks like when I deliver is something like this. Now you're probably looking at the naming convention because that's the third part of an industry standard mastering deliverable. For naming conventions, I follow AES technical document 1002.2.15. I'm not one for creating final masters with version one, final two, final three, final four, final five, final six at the end of the file name. It's simply unprofessional. You need to have that as a minimum. It's also something I made sure I detailed when I was putting together my STEM Mastering Masterclass. I wanted to make sure no stone was left unturned, and that meant I detail everything from the preparation of STEMs coming in to a STEM master to the delivery going out to the client. And if you want to, you can access that masterclass down in the description below, and I don't miss a heartbeat on that. I go from everything from the very first file you receive to how to get everything named, null checked, QC'd, operationally how we work a STEM master to the final deliverable out. And if you feel like you can get something out of that masterclass, please go check it out in the link down below. And until next time, take care.